What's going on guys, it's Luke back here with another video and today we are picking the 2023 NBA playoffs. So let's get right into it. We'll start with the first game between Denver going up against either OKC or Minnesota and to talk about this playing game, Minnesota really should have beat the Lakers. They were up by double digits with not much time remaining but Dennis Schroeder was clutch, LeBron clutch as always and the lakers got the seventh spot okc played really well in their playing game against uh, new orleans even they got off to a little bit of a slow start trying to contain valentunas but after that they were great on both sides of the ball i will favor minnesota because with anthony edwards and cat they have a little bit more talent compared to just Shea and some great perimeter defenders like Lou Dort, um, Josh Giddy, of course, who's still players going on the up. I think Minnesota at home are just going to edge out OKC. So give me the Wolves there, and we'll take Denver to beat Minnesota in five games. I don't think it'll be too difficult for the Nuggets now Phoenix going up against the Clippers. Give me Phoenix here. I don't think they'll have too much difficulty either going up against this Clippers team. And we don't know if Paul George will be playing in the series. Pretty sure he won't be playing at least in the first couple of games. Russell Westbrook is going to get a lot more of the responsibilities on him. They don't have a great bench, the Clippers. So give me the Suns here who are have been really, really good with Kevin Durant. Then we have Sacramento going up against Golden State. Golden State have been one of the hottest teams in the second half of the season, but their road record is just not good enough to win a playoff series. I like the Kings here. I like them in seven. I think they. you can say they don't have much playoff experience, but the team has been great this year. I mean, De'Aaron Fox has just been one of the most improved players, and he keeps getting better every season. DeMontis Sabonis is huge. Um, he's not a great rim protector, which could bring problems to the Kings, but I think that they're going to be able to win regardless. So give me the Kings in seven. Next, we have Memphis going up against the Lakers, and I'm going to take another unpopular pick here. And I'm going to go with the Grizz here. I think the Grizz have something really great going where they have four guys legitimately who could end up as the leading scorer on the stat sheet. John Morant has not been himself since coming back from the few injuries and suspension but he should be able to pick it up with this short break that they've got in almost a week from the last day of the NBA to the first day that they'll play this playoff series uh, yeah what I was saying they have they have four guys John Morant Desmond Bain Jaron Jackson and even Tyus Jones who you could say could be not be surprised if they were at the top of the score sheet as well Luke Kennard is playing well Dylan Brooks great defender and they're really getting better from the three range after adding Luke Kennard there and I'm gonna go for Memphis over Los Angeles Lakers in six I just don't think Los Angeles Lakers have the consistency and that that's going to be needed from a team like Memphis that's been together all season. Anthony Davis and LeBron have been in and out of the lineup. Jared Vanderbilt requ uh, sorry acquired trade deadline. Austin Reeves, inexperienced in the playoffs. Give me Memphis there. Then we have Denver and Phoenix. I think Phoenix will be too good for the Nuggets. And when KD is in the lineup and he's fully healthy and fully integrated, there is no better team in the league than the Phoenix Suns, who might have a short bench, but still got guys like Damian Lee and Campaign that can come off the bench and give solid minutes. Of course, we all know about their star power in D-Book, KD, and DeAndre Ayton. And of course, Chris Paul, who might finally get a ring, might might get him CP1 rather than CP0. Um, yeah, but Duran has just helped this team so much. They were going through a hard patch before he came in, but 8-0 and with Duran in the starting lineup, and they've been unbelievable to cap the season off. So give me the Suns. And then I think they're going to play Memphis. I think this Memphis team, as I said, they're such good as... Uh, they're so good as a cohesive unit, and I think that they'll make the Western Conference Finals. 
But in the end, I think Phoenix will just have too much star power for the Grizz, and I'll go with the Phoenix Suns in six games. They kind of cruise past the West into the final. Now we have the Bulls going up against the Heat in this playing game. I would not be surprised if the Bulls are headed through to the playoffs. They beat the Heat already three times. They have more consistent scorers in DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine, who are better offensive weapons than what the Heat have in Jimmy Butler, who's kind of just trying to operate on himself right now. Kyle Lowry was huge in the game against Toronto. He'll have to come up with another huge game. Again, I, I would just shade the home team here, which is the Heat, but the Bulls could definitely make it. Whoever wins is going to get smoked by the Bucks. I think the Bucks in five is a fair case here. Then Cleveland and the Knicks, two very good teams. Then Both have great scores. I mean, if you look at the Cavs, they're stacked at almost every position. One of the best playoff performers in Donovan Mitchell, and they got a great point guard in Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, Jarrett Allen. I mean, they're just a really solid overall team. And I think that they're going to advance more, but the Knicks can shoot the ball well. Jalen Brunson is such a star. He can really do so much with the ball at his hands. But I, I'm going to go for Cleveland here. But Jalen Brunson was so good in the playoffs last year that, that I something is telling me to go for the Knicks. But I'm just going to hold off and go for Cleveland here. And I'm going to say Cleveland in seven i think it'll be tight down the stretch so give me the Cavs there then philly going up against brooklyn i like philly to cruise in five philly just has more overall star talent um with joel Embiid and james harden and people complain about the philly bench and that there's not much depth however there are 11 and 5 without joel Embiid this season and People are, you can't bank on an injury, and even though Philly, the reason people are counting them out is just because they haven't been able to do it before. There's always been injuries, always been problems. I, I, don't, I can't bank on that right now. Healthy, they're one of the best teams in the league. Then give me Boston over the Hawks in five games. I do think they'll drop a game to ice Trey. I think he'll just have one crazy game, but then Boston will win. Now to this Boston 76ers game. I think it's a very interesting game. Uh, not game, a very interesting series, sorry. Boston has won three of the four meetings this year, I believe, and then Philly just won the last one a couple weeks ago. But Boston's two best players weren't playing. It's not a great matchup for Philly, just because I think that Boston can get really physical, but Joe Mazzula has not coached in the playoffs before. Philly have the best player in the league, Joel Embiid, and I, I just think that individually you really need stars maybe to come up for you in the playoffs, and Boston have been a little inconsistent this back end of the season. I'm going to go for the Sixers here in seven games. They're going to snatch the road victory in the last game. Give me the Sixers there. Then Milwaukee going up against Cleveland. I'm going to go Milwaukee here in six. I don't think Cleveland will be that easy for them, but I do think they'll get through. And then I got to take Milwaukee to the NBA Finals. And then I think we have the best two teams. I'm going to take Milwaukee in six. I think they'll have trouble with Philly as well. But then Phoenix and Milwaukee, I just think Phoenix have too much star talent. I think they're going to be able to defend Giannis, a top 10 defense so I'm going to go with the Suns in seven games to win it all. And that's what I have. So thank you so much for watching this video. And please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.